Okay, here we are back again with a giant box of kids stuff, including some unprocessed stuff, which is always exciting. And I'm Eliza. Amber. And let's go. Okay, well, first off, I'm not actually that excited about my kids not reading yet, but this is Jake, <laughs> Jake and the Neverland Pirates uh, Surf and Turf. This is going to be one of our easy readers. Someone out there is excited. Yeah. How about my son might like that? It's nice when they make e easy readers out of kids' programs because I feel like kids are more apt to pick it up and really try. Yeah. Uh, little book about ABC. This is super cute. It's a Leo Leone's friend, so I don't know if that's like... Oh, it's illustrated by Leo Leone and Julie Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, and I really, I really love the way he illustrates stuff. J is for jellyfish. Sea Bear by Lindsay Moore. I really like this. I like books that um, illustrate with watercolor. I don't know why. It's just really mm -hmm. pleasant. So I like nice little illustrations. And I'm pretty sure there are words. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a few words. This is a pretty nice winter book. Croc and Turtle. <laughs> cute bestest friends ever oh my goodness yes this is definitely oh, a cutie, so cute. cute too cute mm -hmm. ah, so much good illustration bernard's book bernard bernard instead of bernard oh. looks interesting there's a lot of dialogue which can be difficult when you're just reading to a young kid this looks like it maybe has a little more emotional stuff going on I guess we will like see. He's good nervous about something. Yeah. Yeah. Star in the jar. Ooh, up high in the dark, dark sky, there was a message. Lost one small star. <laughs> ah, I just want to take these right home and read them to my kids. They look so beautiful. Look at that illustration. It's amazing. Wow. Oh, where are the sheep? <laughs> it's called Sheep Dog and Sheep Sheep. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. We're just gonna melt from cuteness. <laughs> really? I realize we haven't gotten picture books in a while, so this is good True. to get like yeah. a big, big bunch of them. Errol's Garden. And I really like on the back, you can see that there's gardens like on the rooftops of the apartment buildings. Um, so I'm gonna guess this is about a kid living in a city who wants to make a garden. Oh look, he says I'm really good at growing things. Yeah, yeah but he, makes oh, one he of wants, us. He, he, his home is full of beautiful plants, but he wants an outdoor space. I'm not good at growing things. No. Uh, Say Something by Peter Reynolds. What is this? This illustrator looks very yes. familiar, but not like... I think he's just been around for a long time and has done a lot of... The Dot? Yes, the dot. Yes. Yeah. So he that's, that's illustrated great. the dot, yeah. But this is something different. It's about saying something um, about injustice. Um, if you yeah. see someone being hurt, say something, be brave. So this is definitely a messagey book. But it looks like it could it could be good for young kids. Yeah. Too. Sometimes, I know my kids, if a book doesn't have... A story they're like less inclined to yeah. do it but that actually looks engaging and sort of like fun enough that I think they would be into it we'll see. dreamland there's nothing better than exploring the world of your favorite dream oh my goodness that's super fun and look that's her bed on the cover floating in the clouds so she goes to bed and then she goes to explore her dream hush little bunny Oh, and this just looks like a really nice, quick read aloud. Very little text, but nice pictures. Let's see, we have another Stanley book. We have other ones in this series, and they're nice. They sort of follow a formula, and they're very simple, and um, the illustrations are really clear, and then they always end with Stanley going to bed at the end, which, you know, is good as a nice. bedtime. <laughs> My Heart by Corinna Luke. This looks vaguely familiar. Um, she's a well-known author. What is this even about? 
My heart is a window, my heart is a slide, my heart can be closed or opened up wide. Hmm. Oh, so lyrical text and kind of dark illustrations. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know what to do with it. I, I have a feeling I'll take this home and read it once and my son might not care if we read it again. <laughs> Looks like a nice book. I definitely want to look at it. Um, I am Billie Jean King. So this is another part of a series with lots of, all by Brad Meltzer and illustrated by Christopher Eliopoulos. And um, they all have very small <laughs> versions of famous people. And then like many biographies for kids. They're easy to read, but so nice. very informative. Yeah. Um, sleepless. What on earth? This, is this looks like a... a teen graphic novel. It really does. There's a sleepless mm. night. New king is crowned. An assassin targets her, ushering in a dangerous chapter to her life. Yeah, I'm going to say this is definitely teen. The, and kind the of illustrations in, are so cool. Yeah, this is kind of wild. Yeah. I haven't heard of it. I don't know what it's about, really, other than what it says. But. The babysitter from another planet. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Uh, look at the little kids in the house. Um... Ah, sorry, I can't get it open. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and assume that this is about a babysitter from another planet. <laughs> and it looks super funny and cute. Um, ten rules of the birthday wish. Follow each and every rule. Jeez, what are the rule number five? There must be singing. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I'm just like, what kind of rules could they possibly have? But yeah, they look like nice illustrations. And lots kids of are animals. really obsessed about birthdays, so animals and birthdays together. Mm -hmm. This will be a winner. Okay, now we're going heading more into some chapter books, like middle grade chapter books. And this one is called The Night Owl and the Dog Wait, Two Night Owl from Dogfish. And um, this is about a girl who's a bit nerdy and afraid of things and she lives in New York City and then another girl who lives in Los Angeles and is fearless and loves animals in the ocean and um oh my goodness they're both 12 years old and they're both being raised by single gay dads and their dads fall in love and they get sent to the same sleepaway camp so it's kind of like the parent trap I guess sort of isn't that wasn't that kind of the plot of the parent trap kind of Maybe. Anyways, I mean, that sounds fun. The Lost Girl by Annie Ursu. She's the author of Breadcrumbs, which again sounds familiar. I didn't read it. I think I read that. Um, Identical Twins. Um, and they're in fifth grade. They'll be split into different classrooms. Mm. So just kind of what happens, I think. So we have a James Patterson um, middle school book called Born to Rock. And this is part of his middle school series. This is book 11. Ruby in the Sky. Looks nice. Uh, 12 year old Ruby Moon Hayes. Uh, oh. oh, her mother's been arrested? Yeah. Um, they're in Ver it oh. takes place in Vermont, uh, and a Sounds Syrian like refugee decides to be her new best friend. Sounds like a lot of emotional growing up rumors, rumors yeah. stuff like that. So this is a new one in the Unwanted series, another super popular series. You can see them on the back, and uh, they're just kind of like page turner fantasy for kids. Pay attention, Carter Jones. This looks kind of fun. Oh, it's a honor yeah. National Book Award finalist. I don't know if it was for this book. No, though. no, I think he was for a different book. Yeah. Uh, chaos. Carter's little sisters are fussing. He hears the doorbell. And there's an English butler standing on the front stoop. The butler takes charge. Sounds almost like Mary Poppins. It's weird. But with a with a butler. <laughs> huh. Last one by Lynn Kelly is called Song for a Whale. 
uh, about a girl who's a tech genius, but also the only deaf person at her school. And so people often treat her like she's not very smart. And then she learns about a an actual whale who's also deaf and can't speak to other whales. And she decides to invent a way to sing to him. Oh, wow. This sounds amazing. It sounds really interesting. And so she has to tr figure out, invent this thing, and then also figure out a way to actually travel to find the whale. It's a lot. It's crazy what they come up with for stories, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm sounds really excited. Like, I hope, I just really hope kids come in and get all these because they look really great. See ya. Bye.